Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we are going to be locking in a diamond hidden gem exchange for the first time all year. They did drop a diamond, a amethyst, 10 amethysts for a diamond hidden gem card exchange from these ironclad packs today, which means you can exchange 10 Amy Lou Dorts for a diamond hidden gem player. Is this worth doing? No, it costs too much MT, and Dort is getting a bit more expensive because of this already. But I am going to do it anyway for a video because I haven't done a Diamond Hidden Gem Exchange all year. Now, Dort right now is going for probably around 30,000 MT. I bought all my Dorts for about 25k because he was a bit cheaper earlier in the day, I think, before everybody realized that this exchange was a thing. And yes, he is sub 30k, but he is not significantly sub 30k. He's around 27k right now. There should be pretty good supply, but I think the supply will go down, which, by the way, that might be a good little snipe. If you can snipe some cheap Lou Dorts, you could hold on to those for a few days, sell them back. That could be a nice little source of profit for sure in a few days. But I bought 10 Lou Dorts. Actually, I pulled two, so I bought eight Lou Dorts. Um, and so we are going to exchange these Lou Dorts, and we're going to see which Hidden Gem Diamond we get. First Hidden Gem Diamond of the year, I would say if you're buying the Dorts, it's almost 300,000 MT to do it right now. So that is not, in my opinion, a very good price or a very good deal. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, you can do what you want, but I definitely think I wouldn't recommend this, but there are a lot of good diamond hidden gems and I am praying that I get somebody good who is going to help my team for quite a while. There's 330 diamond hidden gems. So there are a ton of guys in here that we could get. A ton of these guys would be super useful and a lot of them would suck. Like if I get Derek Fisher, I might cry. A six one point guard who can't dunk. I think I will cry real tears. If I get Allen Iverson, he's a six foot point guard with 65 driving dunk. I'm sorry, I know I as a goat in real life, but I don't want that. If I get Shaq, a non-suiting center with a 25 three ball, I mean, he's got 80 speed, but still, I'm gonna be pretty sad. Now, that being said, there's a lot of very good ones in here as well, and I've seen people get some great pulls, and I think there are a lot of uh, great pulls in here that I could get. So, it feels like it's honestly probably about a 50-50 chance that I get somebody good or not. Uh, and I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that it's somebody that's gonna help my team for now and for a while, so. We're going to see in this video before we actually hop into it and do the exchange. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Help me push towards the 30,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day tons of consistent daily My Team content. Would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. And without further ado, I mean, let me get like MPJ. This would be an amazing pull. 6'10", elite shooter, solid defender, 84 speed. This would be like an incredible power forward right now. Michael Ray Richardson's a 6'5 PG with good shooting, exceptional defense, uh, 92 speed. Let me get him. Let me get Oladipo. Let me get Paulo Boncaro. Let me get Kwame Brown. Let me get... A lot of these guys. Mike Miller, I'm sure, is good. Jack Sick would be amazing. Bruce Bowen's a beast. Um, Rui Hachimura would probably be awesome. A lot, honestly, most of these 94s are studs. Not all of them, but most of these 94s are studs. The 93s, 92s are where I think it gets a little bit more sketchy, and there are a lot of guys in here that just would not be that great of pulls uh, as well. But if I were to get like Jaron Jackson Jr., I would be so hyped with the Jaron. I, I think Anthony Simons probably be a W right now. Um, a lot of names in here that would mostly be Ws, to be completely honest. But there is that possibility of of getting a lot of uh, getting a card that's not good and if that happens i'm gonna be pretty disappointed i'm definitely gonna be pretty sad if we go in here and we get ourselves a crappy diamond and either way the reason that you should not be doing this is because of the likelihood of pulling somebody bad and basically just throwing away 300 close to 1000 mt these hidden gem exchanges are not a very good idea in my opinion but we're going to do it anyway, I guess. Um, we got one of 10 in there so far. We're going to get our second one right in here. Uh, we're doing these from the auction house or from the auctions because you can't have more than one of any card in your collection at any given time. But you can add them to the exchange directly from the auction house. So um, from our auctions, we're just adding these 10 Lou Dorts in here one by one. I already had the one that was in my collection added. So we're adding nine more. And... We're going to see, man. I am a little bit nervous because if I get somebody bad and I just threw away, well, for me, what, 280-ish thousand? No, 220. I paid, probably paid an average of like 26, 27. So that's 200-ish thousand MT, somewhere around there that I spent on this exchange. Um, if I throw away that much MT for somebody bad, I'm going to be pretty crushed because MT is not easy to get this year. And I'm trying not to spend any more money on this game because I opened packs today and they were bad. And... I don't think this game is deserving of getting any more of my money right now, to be completely honest. That's kind of the decision that I have reached. So I'm really hoping this is somebody good. Uh, and this is probably the only diamond hidden, exchange, hidden gem exchange that I will be doing for quite a while because it's just not 
logically worth it to do these exchanges for the amount of MT they cost. I'm doing it for a video one time, but this is going to be the only diamond hidden gem exchange that I likely do for quite a while because they're just so expensive. With that being said, there are a ton of really good diamond hidden gems I could get, and there are some really bad ones as well. So I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that we get something good out of this pack. And... Put your guesses in the comment section down below of who you think I am going to get. Without further ado, I'm nervous. Let's rip this open. Please give me somebody good. Please, 2K. Please, please, please. I'm closing my eyes. I don't even want to see. Actually, I do want to see. I lied. Western Conference, 94 agility. That could be really good. That's an elite defender. Please be somebody good. I'm closing my eyes again. Who is it going to be? I don't know if that's good or not. I'm not sure. I think that's pretty good. Jamal Crawford. Interesting. The fact he's got 94 agility is higher than I would have anticipated. How is this J crossover card? 6'5", so he's got really good size. 88 three ball, 75 driving dunk. That's not bad. 98 ball handle, 87 steel, 87 perimeter. He's actually good defensively. 95 speed to ball, 94 agility, 84 vert. Not bad. Hoff Deadeye, Handles for Days, Unpluckable, Layup, Mixed Master, Ankle Assassin, and Lightning Launch, Gold Limitless, Bailout, Break Starter, Set Shot Specialist, Strong Handle, Challenger, Interceptor, Pogo Stick on Silver. He needs defensive badges. I'm going to have to add those badges to him for sure. Things like Pick Dodger, Immovable Enforcer, On Ball Menace, maybe a couple others as well. Um, but I, I think I'm officially selling Russell Westbrook. I think that is what I'm doing. By the way, let's compare him to Russ. Let's just, just for, just for the comparisons, let's just see how he is compared to Russ, who's the best viable point guard right now, besides maybe Gary Payton. Stat wise, he's honestly better. Plus 17 interior, not as good of a rebounder, but speed wise, basically the same. Plus one agility. Uh, badge wise, I, I think Russ is probably a little better, although I have my badge, Russ fully badged. Russ, I, I think this Jamal Crawford with defensive badges added is kind of a beast though. 6'5 PG. We got ourselves a good one. And that's going to make me a lot of MT too, because I'm replacing Russ. I'm going to have Jamal Crawford and Baron Davis as my PGs now. I mean, I love Russ, but I officially don't think I really need him anymore. So, Jay Crossover, man. Let's go check his release real quick, and then we're going to call it a video. I'll do a gameplay with this card at some time, some point this weekend as well, um, because I definitely want to try him out. I mean, I locked in all the MT. I might as well do a gameplay on him, right? Let's see what the movement is looking like. Nice escape. Uh, very nice escape, honestly. Behind the back isn't great. Um, I like the escape a lot, though. I'm going to be honest. So, does he have good movement? Let's. I, does he have a good explosive movement? Eh. Not, not awesome. I would say it's it's not as good as Russ in terms of the in terms of the downhill drive movement, but release is really nice. Um, he's got good defense and he's six five at PG. This is not a bad card. I don't think he's bad. I don't think he's insanely amazing. There were better hidden gems, but this is a good one. I, I'm not complaining about about him, and I think his release is pretty good as well. Uh, fade looks solid. Looks like he's got just no basic normal fade, but. I'm not mad about Jamal Crawford, bro. I'm not mad about this jump shot at all. I think he's a dog. I'm excited about this pull. I'm going to be telling us. I think this is a hooper. We got ourselves along with Jamal Crawford. Um, and hey, it could have been worse. It could have probably been better, but it certainly could have been a heck of a lot worse as well. So not too mad about Jay Crossover in this game. And we're going to be, it's going to be fun to see what this card's looking like. So um, hey, I'm excited about this card. He's going to be fun to use. And I think I certainly could have gotten a lot worse options. So with that being said, that's good for this video. Hope y'all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.